May the Lord open to her the gates of paradise, that she may return to that homeland where there is no death, where eternal joy endures. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this Mass from the Catholic Parish of Guildford once again. As you will have noted from the entrance antiphon, um, I'm not celebrating the Mass for Tuesday of Holy Week because I'm celebrating a Requiem Mass for Elizabeth Ann Morris, whose funeral takes place later this morning at the crematorium. Anne was part of a Sutton Green family of three brothers, Richard, recently deceased, and twins, Paul and David. Their mother, Elizabeth, taught for many years at our St. Joseph's Rides Hill School uh, with head teacher, the late Jim Ahern. Anne died last month at Warpleston View after a very active and energetic life. As we're unable to celebrate funerals within the church, uh, this is, will be her requiem mass for the funeral that takes place later at the crematorium. So let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you were raised up to draw all people to yourself. Lord, have mercy. You shouldered your cross to bear our suffering and sinfulness. Christ, have mercy. Have opened up the way from death to life for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have set a limit to this present life so as to open up an entry into eternity. We humbly beseech you that by the grace of your mercy, you may command the name of your servant Anne to be inscribed in the book of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depths, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. My lips will tell of your help. My lips will tell of your help. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Never let, me, never let me be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me, free me. Pay heed to me and save me. My lips will tell of your help. Be a rock where I can take refuge, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Free me from the hand of the wicked. My lips will tell of your help. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust. O Lord, since my youth, on you I have leaned from my birth. From my mother's womb, you have been my help. My lips will tell of your help. My lips will tell of your justice and day by day of your help. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth, and I proclaim your wonders still. 
my lips will tell of your help. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Whoever believes in me, though he die, will live forever. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and anyone who comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. This is indeed the will of my Father, that all who see the Son and believe in him may have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The readings for this funeral Mass are still very much in line with the readings of Holy Week. They're about the strong bond between Jesus and his followers, won for us by his crucifixion and resurrection. The triumphant note of the gospel that it ends today, I will raise them up. I guess that Anne will be happier again once she is raised up again. Because I heard about so much of her active, enthusiastic life her allotment and her world cruises, her sociability. From her brother David's tribute, Anne pursued her many interests, gardening, travelling to all parts of the world. One occasion in the Amazon jungle, getting back to camp, she discovered her legs covered in leeches. Anyone else would have screamed, not Anne. She took it in her stride. She thought nothing of climbing Mount Macpico in Peru. The bravest person I have ever known, she kept her sense of humour. During her painful illness, she continued to joke and smile. And from her other brother, Paul, an email he sent to me from Australia, where he is. During her illness, Anne did not want to see a priest at first. I wrote out a wonderful prayer, put it in an envelope as I left her, and asked her to read it. On the last day I saw her, she was holding that envelope. I asked her to see a priest for my sake. She talked about her brother Richard dying with regrets and said she would like to see a priest. I rang Father Roy who said he would see her that afternoon. Later, I heard that he had seen her. I knew what that meant and what she meant. She would have received confession, Holy Communion, and the last sacrament. She will now be in heaven. This means so much for her and to me. Let us pray that we all have that chance to be reconciled with our church and our Lord at the end of our lives. And was fond of a prayer, the Memorare prayer to Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Remember heart of Jesus, the immaculate heart of Mary, and you, O glorious St. Joseph, that no one has ever had recourse to your protection or implored your assistance without obtaining relief. Animated with utmost lively confidence, I come laden with the weight of my sins to prostrate myself before you. O merciful heart of Jesus, the immaculate heart of Mary, and you, O glorious St. Joseph, Reject not my prayer and petitions, but graciously hear and grant them. Amen.
our prayers this morning, we continue to pray for the church, that she may remain steadfast on her course, always faithful to the truth of the gospel, always merciful and gentle to those who revile her, always enthusiastic to spread the gospel message to all and sundry. We pray for Pope Francis, for Bishop Richard, and for all the clergy who shepherd your people, particularly in this time of restriction and disease around us. We give thanks to God for the deliverance of Cardinal Pell, that he has been declared not guilty of the awful charges against him. Lord, in your mercy, let us pray for all who suffer in the world at this time, particularly those who suffer from warfare, from cruelty, from hunger and, and disease. Let us pray particularly for the people who are suffering from the scourge of the coronavirus, which is around the globe at this time. We pray for all those who are suffering from it. We remember today our own Prime Minister. We ask that they be sent healing and peace of mind. Lord, in your mercy. Amen to God, the souls of all the faithful departed. Today we particularly pray at this Mass for the soul of Anne Morris. We pray for all those who have died through this disease of coronavirus. We pray for all the souls of the faithful departed, particularly our own loved ones. We commend them all to God's mercy. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Let us call on our blessed Lady Mary to join us in prayer as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly and merciful Father, we ask you to hear our prayers today. To grant all that is necessary for us and for those for whom we just prayed. Particularly remembering your servant Anne. And we ask this in the powerful name of your son who came to live and die for us and was raised from the dead and is now at your side in glory our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Marry my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Be near, O Lord, we pray to your servant Anne, on whose funeral day we offer you this sacrifice of conciliation, so that should any stain of sin have clung to her, or any human fault have affected her, it may, by your loving gift, be forgiven and wiped away. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him, the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Anne, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. I invite you during this Mass, as you are unable to be at the altar, to make a spiritual communion. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our mortal bodies to conform with his glorified body. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servant Anne, who has journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and freed from sin, and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. It's lovely to have you present in a different way today through the medium of the internet. And I know that includes um, Paul, the uh, uh, brother of Anne, who should be watching from Australia today. I don't think we can get any further away from Guildford than Australia at the time. Anyway, it's, uh, it's good to have us all together and to keep our pattern of worship going in the best way we possibly can. It may not be perfect, but we look forward to that time when we will all be reunited physically in this church again or in your own churches, wherever you're watching. Just to remind you that there is a daily Mass at 10 o'clock on all the normal days. There will be a 10 o'clock Mass tomorrow. The um, Tridium, the Maundy Thursday, Good Friday, and the Easter Vigil will all be celebrated uh, from this church. The, news, the um, parish website gives you full details of all the other services that are going on as well, including our evening prayer. Um, and our children's liturgy as well, which is, is available on our website, a different one every week. May you have a, um, a good and devotional uh, rest of Holy Week. And please join us for those three important Masses, the Maundy Thursday Mass, Good Friday, which isn't a Mass, it's a very solemn liturgy, and the great Easter ceremonies, which will take place on Saturday evening. So please be present with that and please spread the news to other people who may not have heard of this link. Monsignor Tony and myself are always praying for you along with Deacon Tom who lives with us now for the time being and we keep you all in our prayers. The candle stand here in the front of the altar is used at evening prayer when you can send your requests for individual prayers for people to be remembered here and a candle will be lit for them. And that's at uh, evening prayer at 6 o'clock this evening. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ.